What is going on guys and girls? Today we are here to talk about the possibility or maybe the fact that Sledgehammer has, you know, slide one right underneath us. And what I mean they slide right underneath us is that they most likely implemented or are trying to add skill-based matchmaking to World War II. Which in reality, I don't understand why they're trying to do this. Now, none of us, if maybe some of you asked for it, most of us were like, Mm, hell to the now, hell no, I don't want no damn skill based matchmaking, I'm already playing against campers, so then again, why would they add skill based matchmaking, and if they come back with a statement on Twitter, like they always do, uh, guys, you know, we just tried it for a couple of hours to see if you enjoy it and like it, well, clearly you've been trying this for the last couple of years, Advanced Warfare was the one year you guys kept it and we did not like it at all, so what's the point of actually having skill based magic making into the game if we just already said we don't like it? So. I actually found out they added skill based matchmaking not, not by you know slash themselves not by people or news I found this you know on my own by playing different game modes playing different games and I was always finding people that were really good at killing you like they were pre-aiming pre-firing their accuracy was really really good and I don't really have a problem with this but with the fact that I am trying to go for high kill gameplays or get a, D a B2 rocket it's not gonna happen against kids that are literally pre-aiming and pre-firing you and they literally kill you right away although in this game later on I went on an 11 gun streak to 12 gun streak you know on these kids but it wasn't really something easy and there's also no point on going on 11 guns going on an 11 gun streak on these kids when they're literally gonna destroy you then in the next gunfight so after the patch guys this is how I realized there was skill based matchmaking after they fixed the connection issues the server issues you know people were finishing games and they were literally getting kicked out of the lobbies they were in with their friends or by themselves which happened to me honestly about I don't know 30 times since the, they had patched the guns and stuff in the game they actually made the game even worse connection issues were a big thing but if you guys want to watch a video that has to do with connect connection issues it's going to be down in the description below but uh you know guys i kind of found out there was skill based matchmaking because after that patch on the 13 and 14 that was actually set to fix the first patch for the guns which happened i think the 10th or 9th um they seemed that they did something to the game because literally after the 13 i started playing Call of Duty, I wasn't playing that much. The 12, I actually didn't even have enough time to play on the 12, so I played the 13 the day after they fixed those issues, all those issues with the connection and the servers. And I was always finding myself in lobbies with people that had aim just like this guy. Like their aim was really, really good. Their class setups were really, really good. And the only reason I have a problem with this is because like I, I just want to play with the mix of people people that are bad people that are terrible people that are decent people that are good and people that are fucking amazing I don't want to play against people that are almost as good as me perhaps even better than me because it's, it's it's there's no point in me playing the game I don't play the game to rank up you know a lot of people just play for fun go for kills and I am one of those people that doesn't really play the objective I just go for kills uh, try to get the most kills in the lobby and you know boost up my KD but I don't really like camping and I actually found myself playing like a little kid like a little girl that just got the game for Christmas although it's not even Christmas and I was just camping pre-aiming every corner pre-firing every corner but most of the time I am pre-firing I am pre-aiming I am drop shining and I am also jump shining I always win the gunfights but this time I am doing all the same stuff that I always do but I don't win all of them unless my accuracy is 110 percent which I mean this game was supposed to be the year of the call of duty and you know it's been a couple days since the release date they're not fixing stuff they're making it even worse they don't understand what call of duty is the developers they made a really good game just you know fix the stuff don't implement anything whatsoever next thing you know they're gonna implement crazy supply drops and after they implement them they're gonna have so many bugs and glitches that they're gonna end up you know messing the game even more but this year you know it, it hasn't been the best year for call of duty it's the start we haven't had you know uh, we haven't had a really bad start since literally Call of Duty goes. Like this, this game has so many issues already. The servers we talked about this, and now skill based matchmaking. Every lobby I get into, I'm playing against kids that are so good at the game. Like literally, look at their fucking names. Like, like, like. All right, let me read some of the names in this lobby right off the top. Like these kids are literally tryhards. Let me, let me just read them to you guys. Well, level 33, EGDC. Uh, the C at the end stands for something. Um, level 45, Mippy. Uh, Genghis. 
uh hey say you know cod legend like like man like this game, puerto rican king bulldog king like you know bionic sniper savage 99051 like man you know what are these names like who, who's giving them these names like it's not it's not there's no way uh, like and look this is my kdr look I'm, I'm gonna show you it's not the highest kd i'm not gonna lie to you people camp people move and when people camp they really fuck me up but this is my kd right here my stats is I'm a prestige to level 27. I have 5,796 kills and almost 4,000 deaths. And my KD is 1.47. Again, score per minute 262 because I play, you know, domination. You only get 50 points per kill, or else it'll probably be like uh, 500. Uh, for probably be like 500 to be honest headshots i got 318 time played a day in 13 hours wins 173 loses 179 i don't really care about the wins most of the time i play it myself so we end up losing when i play with my friends i don't know they just they, they like to talk so much and i don't know i, I can't really go on a streak with them so i just play on myself but um yeah guys if you guys are wondering bro why are you complaining like you're you're, you're, not, you're actually killing them or like you're getting fucked up bro you're just trash well I mean, guys, you know, there has to be some form of skill-based matchmaking because in reality, I do not see myself getting fucked up as many times as I did right there. So, yeah.